Hey loves, welcome back. Today I'm excited to be sharing some gift ideas with you guys for coffee, cocoa, and tea lovers. I have some birthdays coming up with friends and family that I wanted to give some of these things to. Hope you guys will be inspired and enjoy these ideas. If you know someone who loves having a variety of teas, I think this is so nice. I got this wooden bamboo tea box on Amazon. I love the glass top on here. It opens really nicely and with the glass, you can see what's inside. The compartments are the perfect size for storing an assortment of your favorite tea bags or even better if you know what kind of tea the person likes best. I usually prefer black tea, anything with like spices or chai. Also, I like this apple cranberry one from Dollar Tree. I think it's really good. And my favorite one recently is this peach tea by Bigelow. Is that how you say it? I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right, but leave me a comment down below. What's your favorite type of tea? And maybe we can help each other out by sharing some of our favorite varieties. The other thing that's really convenient about this tea box is that it fits inside my kitchen drawer, so I'm not taking up counter space with it. I'll leave the link for this one down below if I can find it. I also think the compartments in this tea box are perfect for storing packages of sweeteners. I do tend to keep a variety of sweeteners on hand for guests and family, and the compartments are so convenient for people to easily find what they're looking for. Not only do I love this, but I think it would be a really great practical, usable gift and a great way to gift some tea to someone in it. Okay, so a simpler option that you can do very inexpensively. This actually cost me almost nothing to make. I had almost everything on hand. I'm using a mug. I almost said coffee mug, but like a teacup. And you can add different things in here. For example, I'm adding these little inspirational scripture cards. I think these are actually from a guidepost magazine, but I thought they'd be so cute to add in here. You can just tie them up with some ribbon or twine, add some of the person's favorite tea, or just use an assortment of whatever teas you already have on hand. You could also add a small bottle of honey or honey stirrer sticks like these. Actually, these are pumpkin spice coffee stirrers because I didn't have any of the honey ones on hand at the moment, but hopefully you get the idea. For coffee and cocoa drinkers, you could of course keep in mind if the person has a favorite brand or flavor of coffee grounds or cocoa mixes and add that into your basket if you want. I got this basket in Dollar Tree. I love the look of these little tote baskets that they're carrying right now. You can also pick up some paper filler shreds there as well. You can add a mug or tumbler to the basket if you want. This mug was actually from Home Goods. I think it's so gorgeous, although be warned that the metallic ones like this, as beautiful as they are, are not microwave safe. So just keep that in mind when you're deciding on a mug. This tall tumbler from Starbucks carries the logo if your person is a Starbucks fan and would appreciate that. These are perfect for the iced coffee drinker, probably even iced tea as well. I also found these ceramic travel mugs after a lot of searching because they're not only dishwasher safe, but they're also actually microwave safe, which is perfect for the moms out there who are always reheating their coffee and then it's time to run out, pick up the kids, get to an appointment or whatever. You could just pop the lid on and go out the door. Again, I'll link whatever items I can for you guys down below, but I did find this one online at Target. You could also do a cute jumbo size mug like this Ray Dunn one that says friend on it. This one is microwavable as well, so that's always a plus. And a lot of the basket filler items could really work for anyone, coffee, tea, or cocoa baskets. Something like a cute notepad, this one was from Dollar Tree, a fun flavored lollipop, this was from Starbucks, flavored sweetener spoons, these French vanilla ones are from Home Goods. You could even add candy if you want. Trader Joe's always has little bags or packages of different candies, gum, mints, or chocolate covered nuts. Then I found these espresso martini candies in Home Goods, which seemed so fitting for a coffee lover. So I grabbed those to add in here as well. And Starbucks carries nice little packages of gum and mints also. But of course, any grocery or convenience store should have it as well. Personally, I liked the label and packaging of these for like a little neater and cleaner look in the basket. But if you've got a color theme that you're going with for your package, perhaps you can select gum or mints or something like that in packaging colors 
that will match your theme. Dollar Tree also has coasters, which you could add a set into your gift basket as well, or even unwrap them and tie them up nicely with some ribbon or twine to complete the look. Could also add an individual wrap squares of chocolate or truffles, candies, anything like that. Chocolate always goes well with coffee and cocoa, in my opinion, and I know some people like to sweeten and flavor their coffee by adding a piece of chocolate to it. And then here's another option. I got this basket in Dollar Tree as well, and I've got a can of Godiva hot cocoa mix, a mug, and then depending on the time of year or the person's preferences, I was thinking about peppermint hot chocolate or peppermint mocha coffee. Dollar Tree has these bags of peppermint sticks that you can repackage in a clear plastic sandwich bag. I just snipped the end flaps on them so that I could pull the sides up straight and gather them up and tie it with some ribbon or twine. Don't forget to add some homemade cookies or some individually wrapped biscotti cookies, perfect for dunking. If you're going with the peppermint theme, these peppermint chocolate stirrer spoons with marshmallows would be delicious. Of course, again, I'm throwing in a few dark chocolate pieces for some extra yummy chocolatiness. Another option, again, I'm using a gray tote basket from Dollar Tree and going for a bit of a pink theme here and adding in the Starbucks tumbler for cold drinks along with the microwave safe ceramic travel mug for hot drinks. This holographic notebook says girl boss. This is from Dollar Tree. You could also add in a pen, a journal, something inspirational, whatever you like. I actually wanted to find the notebook Dollar Tree used to carry that says espresso yourself. I thought that would have been so perfect, but I haven't seen them in my Dollar Tree recently, but keep an eye out for that if you're doing a coffee gift basket. I just think it would be such a cute addition. Again, I just added gum, candy, mints, whatever goes well with or after your coffee, you know? You could even add just like a couple stirrer spoons like these French vanilla ones since they're individually wrapped anyway. Some cute inspiring coasters also from Dollar Dollar Tree, and I found these birthday cake Godiva truffles at Target. You can use whatever you like, add the whole bag, or even just open it and add the individual truffles like these, especially since the packaging color was a perfect match for the color theme here. You could always just fill a tumbler or like this ceramic mug with some candies or instant coffee or cocoa packages, and then put the lid back on to keep it all in place. That would make a super cute and practical gift as well. So please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you'd like to see more gift idea videos like this. If you drink coffee, cocoa, or tea, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you have any suggestions of things to add into a basket like this, like what kind of things you would enjoy getting. I always love to hear you guys' ideas. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye!